back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna be doing my nails for my wedding which is actually just this year we're actually just doing a very small and intimate wedding and so next year will be the bigger you know reception like i guess the actual wedding but i'm gonna be doing my nails yes these look a hot mess these are the nails that i did about three weeks for my um for my bridal shower as you guys can see they've grown out a lot like a lot lot but i knew that i was gonna be very short on time like today i started cleaning because again it's just a small intimate ceremony and so we're gonna have it all at our building and so today we went and checked on the building and guess what we had no working ac and so i had to take care of that we cleaned up a bit and so yeah that's how life is going on right now but uh thank you all so much thank you also for joining um and watching me do my nails i honestly y'all i don't know what i want to do so as y'all can see for my bridal shower this is what i did um and so i know for sure that i want to keep that pink acrylic underneath but i'm still trying to decide if i want to um i i don't know if i want to keep them this shape or if I want to cut them down to like a short square or a short like um, coffin or I don't know y'all. What do y'all think? But first I'm going to go ahead and just start falling that gel polish off. I'm using my McCart Flawless Pro e-file. Hello to everyone. I hope everybody's having a wonderful productive week thank you tamika y'all it honestly feels like because we got engaged in march and so time has really flown by So somebody said almond is very elegant. Yeah, my, I asked my man. I was like, you think I should keep the almond or should I go shorter? And he said he liked the shape. So I may keep it, but I'm still trying to figure that out. Y'all, I would love to do a French, but I don't know if I have the patience to try to do especially since i haven't been doing my nails as often as i used to i feel like now i have such a hard time trying to do like a perfect french tip on my right hand using my left hand and so i don't know that i even want to attempt because i don't know y'all i'm scared like i really wish that like i was considering letting somebody else do my nails but even today y'all like i said um i actually had a lash appointment this morning and i almost canceled it because again the ac at our building uh stopped working so i was having to like find somebody to come look at it and then when they did come it was time for me to go to my lash appointment so i was like freaking out and so it's so hard for me to like schedule anything because i feel like something always comes up but ideally i wish that i could just could have just let somebody do them but yes definitely save myself a t uh, probably a hundred dollars for sure yeah i think i may just leave them y'all i really hate that my uh dust collector is dead let me switch my drill bits i feel like it's taking me too long with that one i'm gonna use my extra coarse drill bit There you go. But what have y'all been up to? How's the nail business going? How's the learning process going? Okay, so while I'm doing... I, so last time I did this set, I didn't use my... Um, 
Like to file the acrylic around the cuticle area, I just ended up using my 180 sanding band. And so I don't necessarily have a lifting, but there were maybe like just a tiny, tiny bit. So during this part, I go in and file that off if, you know, if you do have any. Yeah. But y'all, I have two, like, so for the longest, I couldn't find, I cut myself, y'all. I couldn't find a dress that I liked because, like I said, this is not, like, next year we're having a big, like, reception. Um, but this year, like, I didn't want to just, like, do, because um, originally we were just going to um, go to the courthouse and that's it. Just for this year until we do the reception next year. Um but I don't know, y'all. Like, I feel like I still wanted to do something. So that's why we're doing the very small intimate wedding. Because I still wanted to have, like, a small, like, celebration. But me just being extra, something small turns into something a little bit bigger. And then a little bit bigger. And so <laughs> that's what we have going on this weekend. So it's actually Saturday. Um, it's when we'll be... Um, it's almost... I wouldn't say that it's an elopement but no it's not an elopement because i think elopement is more like when you basically run off and go get married so it's not an elopement it's just basically like a tiny wedding because it's literally like i think so i counted for like 40 people but after i ran the numbers again it's looking very 30 or 35 ish and so it's literally just like immediate family and then our very close friends that will be attending and that's it and then next year when we have the bigger reception that's when we'll be able to invite other friends that you know like we still of course love but we're just not maybe as close with or just like other family members and stuff and so that's what the plan is so my dress okay so my dress is very simple y'all so it was so hard for me to find something that i like because like when i tell y'all i literally went through like six dresses until i found one that i like because i don't want the traditional like wedding dress because again i'm saving that for next year i know it's kind of confusing y'all but i'm saving that for next year and so um this year it's just a very simple i mean it's still a white dress it's long it's um almost like a mermaid style kind of and it's like off the shoulders and it has sleeves on it now it was i feel like it was kind of hard for me to find some that i like because everything like i don't really like my back out and literally it seems like every wedding dress or shit just clothes in general like everything has the back out everything has the arms out and i did not want my arms or back out and so i feel like it was so hard for me to just find something that i liked or two it was like they either were too big or too small and so i literally was ordering returning ordering returning until i finally just um ended up choosing one which right now i have two that i have i need to return the other one but um i was like i really don't like my arms out like i really don't and i was trying to like get out of my comfort zone but i feel like i'm still not too comfortable and so i'm like you know what it's you know basically i mean it is my wedding day and so i don't want to be uncomfortable on that day and so i'm just gonna go with the one with the long sleeves because the one that's sleeveless i was thinking of like um have y'all been seeing like where people wear like the gloves and so that's kind of like the sheared gloves and so i kind of wanted to do that look but again i was like and eh, you know what like i really don't want to be uncomfortable on my day so i think i'm just gonna end up going with the one with the long sleeves which it fits good and everything Thank you so much. Yeah, I feel like it take me so. I'm I'm gonna try to. I honestly feel like for these nails, I um 
for these nails i just want to do i may just leave them like all pink y'all with like the pink acrylic and that's it i don't even know if i want to add like white to them i almost just want to do like i don't know i feel like lately i've turned into a very like minimalist and it's like the less what they say less is more and I feel like that's where, hold on. I feel like that's how I've been feeling lately. Y'all gotta concentrate because this drill bed is sharp. I think this is my extra, extra coarse drill bed. I already cut myself on this hand, so I am not trying to cut myself again. What is that? The glazed donut look? Is that like the chrome look? fiercely me so okay so after the surgery i've lost a lot of weight and so and even to begin with like i never wanted like you know a huge um you know like i never wanted to go huge and so after i lost weight of course you know like i did lose some of it but i feel like i still have that like nice i guess foundation left and so that's kind of what I'm working with. And like I do, uh, of course, work out a lot. And so I've gained, you know, of course, muscle and stuff. Um, oh, I've been doing nails, y'all. Like I literally this month, actually, in September, made... I believe it was 11 years for me. It's either 11 or 12 years for me since I started doing nails. And actually, tomorrow, this is really why I, I was going to wait to closer to Saturday to do my nails. But tomorrow, I have, um, I have an award. Well, there was an award that I was nominated for, which is the Young Latina Entrepreneur Award. Um, that I was nominated for and so I have the award ceremony to go to tomorrow and so y'all like literally I have like one thing after another after the other going on and so that's really why I'm like you know what let me go ahead and do my nails because I'm not trying to go to the event talking about yeah I do nails and then my nails look a hot mess so I'm like uh yeah let me go on and, and go in here and do these nails Oh, thank you, Crystal. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love to hear it, y'all. I love that, you know, my story has inspired so many people or my videos have, have helped so many people. I really love to hear it. Because that's, I mean, that's really why I started doing YouTube. Because, you know, I know what it's like to be a beginner. I was once a beginner. And I feel like a lot of the time we pay for school and school barely even teaches us, teaches us anything. And so it's nice to have people that, you know, are willing to to share their knowledge with other people. Because I feel like even now, like it's not too many. Hey, Angie. Oh, thank you, Yadira. I really appreciate you. But yeah, y'all. So I have this award ceremony. I need to pick something. I didn't even buy an outfit. I have dresses. Last year, I went to like three or four weddings. And um, I still have those dresses that I literally wore just for those occasions. So most likely, I'm just going to pick one of those dresses 
that I wore to one of those weddings to wear to the to the ceremony. I, I know one's red, one's black, and one is what was the other one? I'll have to look. Oh, burgundy, but that one's long. I think they said the attire is like business casual or like cocktail, something like that. I think I'm gonna do the uh, the black one. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Thank you, Crystal. I promise you, I feel like I've come such a long way and just in life, period. <laughs> and so if you've been following me for a while, I feel like you definitely can see the growth for sure because I know that I can see the growth, you know, within myself. So if I can see it, I know for sure y'all can see it. Alrighty, so just dusting my nails off. And then now I'm going to go in and push my cuticles back. For sure, y'all. Like, if you've been watching me for a while, you definitely watched me grow up. Because when I first started YouTube, I was literally 21. Yeah, I was 21. And I'll be 27 in November. So... It's been a while. It's definitely been a while. Y'all, I can't believe how much... Or, you know what? I, I was wondering why my nails have been growing so fast. But I forgot that I started taking, um, like, vitamins. Like, we do vitamins every day. And then also, this might be a little TMI, but... Lately, y'all, um, like before, I feel like I didn't like when I have my cycle, I I always feel like I never had like side effects or like symptoms before my cycle. But now, y'all, like literally every side effect that you can think of, I get from the tenderness in the breast, nauseous, cramping, everything I get. And so I've been taking vitamins for that as well. And I feel I think they have collagen in them too. So I feel like that makes me um uh helps my nails grow faster, which when I have acrylics on, look, I don't need them to grow faster. Okay, so I'm going in with my 180 sending band. And I am just removing the shine from the natural nail, going all the way around the cuticle area, making sure I'm also getting in on the sides to make sure that we get no lifting at all. And as always, making sure that I'm positioning my finger on the side, my pinky on the side of my finger. That way I have control of my e-file at all times, because if not, my drill literally will be all over the place. I love watching you do beautiful nails. Your work is amazing. I'll be 27 in November as well. Thank you so much. November what, girl? Mine's November 1st. She said, uh, it's because of your help and videos. You've been great at helping me regain my confidence in my beauty progress again. Thank you. That is so good to hear, y'all. You know how I always say, like, it's enough money out here for everybody. So I don't care to, sh to share, you know, tips and tricks and a little bit of everything that I know. I know for me, life has been busy here lately, so I haven't been able to post as consistently. And then I know if you watched my last video where I did this set, um, 
I talked about how like I feel like you know I, I hit like a burnout stage when it comes to doing nails and so I needed to take a break and so that's another reason why I haven't been posting as much on YouTube and then also dealing with the commercial property that I bought like right now I other than here in this room at my house I don't have anywhere to do nails right now and so I haven't been doing nails since last year in October so it's about to be a year since I uh, stopped doing nails it was initially supposed to just be a break I was supposed to come back with new prices new policies and then the whole you know I bought a, a commercial property came about and been working on that for almost a year y'all it's crazy how fast time goes by but that's what i've been working on and then now i have the cookie shop business that's been doing really really good as well so it's nice to just kind of do something a little bit different for you know however long to just kind of regain some like excitement in life and not you know like especially when you've been doing the same thing for so long it just becomes a routine and so it, it felt nice to kind of get out of that routine for a little bit and just do something different um the wedding nina la boy i think that's how you say it the wedding well the wedding is this weekend it's on saturday and as i was saying earlier this is just a very small intimate like wedding like it's literally just about 30 to 40 people Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the dehydrator and the primer. The dehydrator always goes first and then the primer. And we only apply this on the um, natural nail. Yo, my fiance is out there trying to cut the grass before the sun goes down. And it looks like the sun is literally, I think it looked like it's already gone down. Thank you so much, Nina. Yeah, so we, um, so it's crazy because like for us, it's like, we well i've been planning all of this because again originally we we're supposed to just go to the courthouse and so my man just kind of been letting me do what i want as far as you know this celebration but next year is when we'll have our big reception and so we already found a venue and everything and thankfully they had an all-inclusive package and so they'll be planning everything i'll just be saying yes no and you know to to whatever and they'll kind of put everything together and so that'll be good for me because it'll give me i don't know it just letting somebody else take control and me not having to stress too much about everything since it will be a lot you know like a bigger um or like a big reception i feel like that would be too overwhelming for me and so just letting somebody else take control will be very nice and so definitely look forward to start planning so literally um like i said our wedding is saturday and then the lady from the venue was like hey do you want to come they're doing like an open house type of thing at the venue and so she wants me to come sunday and i'm just thinking like girl i may be uh hung over or something from you know from the night before so i'm still trying to decide if i'm gonna be able to make it because even on saturday mo no sunday morning my fiance's well as of saturday my mother or i guess after saturday my mother-in-law <laughs> she'll be my mother-in-law then um is gonna cook and stuff and so i don't want to be rushing to make it back okay somebody said what advice do you have for techs that want to be as successful as you honestly girl i feel like as not i guess what i feel like rhetorical would be the answer but um or not the answer but the word but honestly consistency is key like 
you just have to be consistent with everything that you do whether you know you're doing clients whether you're doing youtube whatever it is that you're doing consistency is key that's the only way that you can get better for sure at doing anything okay i'm going in with the same color that i originally used which is the color pinkalicious from my nc acrylic collection As you guys can see, it literally goes on like butter. And I do have this cord collection available individually or as a bundle. So, um, somebody said, what's a good brand to start off as a beginner? So, I mean, of course I have, um, I do have a nail kit for beginners on my website. I have two actually. One is just like a starter bundle. So it comes with like two acrylic powders, your eight ounce bottle of monomer, your acrylic brush. It comes with a dappin dish, your primer, and your dehydrator. Those items are essential. Now, I feel like a lot of people that want to start doing nails, they just go on Amazon and they buy the cheapest kit that they can find on there, which, of course, you know, when you're starting, it's like you don't want to spend too much money because you don't know how it's going to go. But, y'all, I say this from experience. Like, literally, the products that you use are either going to make or break your experience experience whenever i first started i was using the little kiss kit from walmart and i don't know if the formula has gotten better after 12 years but back then y'all it was horrible like literally horrible to the point where after i did my first set i was like yeah this not for me you know and so like it literally can ruin your experience i feel like the brush was horrible it dried up like it was horrible and so going ahead and investing in good quality products is definitely a must for sure um and then also i do have a bigger nail kit for beginners which comes with it also comes with your two acrylic powders um, your monomer your acrylic brush but this one comes with nail tips it comes with nail forms your nail cutter or your tip cutter your nail your nail clipper it comes with five nail files five buffers some nail art items which are like stickers rhinestones it comes with your glue so basically everything that you need to get started and actually i am just um upgrading the the kit which i haven't posted it yet y'all i've been so busy but i already got everything and so now instead of getting the nail tips in the box you'll be getting i mean in the bag you, they'll come in the box now and then i'm also instead of uh just doing like a light pink acrylic in my um nail kit for beginners it will now come with our best seller acrylic which is the pretty and pink acrylic is going to come with like a off-white color which is our natural acrylic powder and then it's also going to come with a clear so instead of two acrylics now you're going to get three in our beginner nail kit so i'll be sure i'll probably wait till after i come back from my honeymoon to stock those because um i'm not of course i don't have anybody to send them off while i'm gone I know so honestly i've only used dip once and it was just like a small little kit from uh that i was reviewing from model ones but as far as i don't know if you can use all acrylic powders for dip but i know that some acrylics uh will specifically tell you that they are you know to be used with the dip form or like products but i'm not a hundred percent sure I know like McCart has some that are like 3-in-1. Um, I don't know what other brands. Maybe Kiera Sky, I believe. So 
So what do y'all think? Should I just... Y'all, my dogs are going to get on my nerves. Should I just leave the nails with this pink acrylic? Or what do y'all think? I feel like I still need to add a little bit more on this one. Somebody said white chrome on top or even some pearls. See, the thing is, I don't have any of my chromes. Like, I I do have some, but they're, like, different color ones. I don't have, like, the iridescent ones. Like, they're literally, like, green or pink, and they're not those, um like, pearly-looking colors. Because I definitely thought about doing that. Yeah, I don't know why, but it seems like every time that I'm doing my nails, there's always like an annoying fly in this room. I wonder if it's the same fly every time. And it's like I try to kill it before I start and it's so fast and it's so annoying. I don't know, y'all. That's what I'm saying. Like, I kind of almost want to just leave them just pink in a top coat. That's it. I don't know that I want to add anything else. Some chrome. Somebody said apply some bronze chrome. White lace accent. Hmm. Like drawn on. I may have some some um transfer foil lace. But like this brush. I wonder if y'all can hear this annoying fly. Okay, so the wedding is actually uh, this weekend on Saturday. I wanted to keep our wedding day like as close as we could to our anniversary just for, you know, just because that's what I wanted. And so um, it actually, um, our two year anniversary will actually be on the 29th, which is Friday. But I, I didn't want to have the wedding on Friday, which is why we're going to do it on Saturday. Thank you.
I am in Arkansas. Okay. So this is what this hand looks like. Let's see. I don't know why I keep feeling like this one still needs a little bit right there. There it go. Hey, Janine. Thank you so much, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is my Pinkalicious Acrylic Powder from my NC Acrylic Collection available on my website getnail32.com you see how good it applies on yes definitely makes your whole acrylic experience a lot easier when you're using good products for sure And when I'm doing my right hand with my left hand, as you guys can see, I'm picking up my beads with my right hand and then I just transfer that brush over to my left hand and that's just what's easiest for me. This is my number 14 brush. Nice and flat. They do come, come crimped and I also have a number 12 on there. Yes, it is a number 14. These also are available on my website. Y'all, it seems like every time I'm doing nails, like my back just instantly hurts from just sitting here. And then also um, from today, I guess, from going to get my lashes done. Oh, what is that? From going to get my lashes done. And laying there for so long, ugh, I could barely even get up when I was done. Like, my lash tech literally had to help me up out the table. Yeah, see when I'm placing my acrylic, like I'm patting super gently because I want the acrylic to stay in this back area and then I just want to blend it in with the rest of the nail. Hey, Leticia. How are you? And then also what helps get a really neat, like, um, like around, like to get the acrylic really neat around the cuticle area, it helps if you hold your finger downwards. That way the acrylic just kind of naturally flows down the nail. Let On this one, I feel like I, when I was filing the acrylic off, I might have filed a little bit too much off the tip. So I'm having to go in and add a little bit more acrylic to the tip to make sure that it's nice and strong.
Hold on, I'm trying to... Somebody said, I'm right-handed. How do you do your left hand so well? So, I'm right-handed, and so I'm able to do my left hand very good. So, I guess it would be your right hand that you would struggle with. And so, as you can see, I mean, obviously, it takes practice for sure. Like, I'm, you know, like, even now, like I said, since it's been a little bit... Um, since I don't do my nails as often anymore, I feel like I do have a little bit more of a hard time. But one of the things that helped me for sure is even just picking up my product with my right hand and then transferring the brush back to my left hand. That just helps me um, pick up the correct liquid to powder ratio. And then also just, you know, taking your time. You don't want to rush. You want to make sure that as you're working, you're being very gentle that way and then also working with the amount of product that you can control that way you're not flooding your cuticle or you don't end up with super thick nails i like to just no matter how long i've been doing nails for i like to just work with a little product at a time and then just add more as needed instead of just going in with a big huge ball of acrylic and then trying to move it around and then it dries and then now you're stuck with a thick nail. But again, definitely takes practice for sure. Pract what they say, practice makes improvement. Okay, we're almost done. Got two more nails. Same thing, y'all. Placing that bead closer to the cuticle area. Patting it down very gently. Moving it to the sides and then brushing down. And when you're brushing, brush very gentle. You don't want to brush the acrylic off the nail. You literally just want to blend it in with the rest of the nail. Yeah, so all of the supplies that I'm using are available on my website, which is getnailed32.com. You can find literally everything. The brush, the acrylic, I have some bundle, some bundle kits, a nail kit for beginners, like literally everything. I think I really do like this pink just by itself. 
Maybe I could add like one little diamond on each nail and call it a day. Thank you. Again, this is the color Pinkalicious from my NC Acrylic Collection. This was my first time, well, the last time I did my full set. It was my first time um, actually trying this color on myself, but it's definitely one of the my favorite shades of pink, actually. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Sabrina. Yes, like, yes, definitely like a pinkish, a nudish pinkish color. Okay, now I'm just going in and adding where I feel like I need just a little bit more acrylic. Mm. Uh, Leticia, okay, let me go back, hold on. Leticia said, I have tips now, but I want to wrap my real nails. What should I use? When you say wrap, what exactly are you referring to? Like, are you talking about like the old school of uh, fiberglass wraps? Thank you. Yeah, I've, I got this tattoo like back, I think summer of 2021. I was going through a lot and I was getting a lot of anxiety. I always felt like I could not breathe. And so um, one thing that helped was doing like breathing exercises. And then two, one thing that relaxes me are palm trees. To me, I don't know why, but they're so relaxing. And so that's where that tattoo came from. I actually got it done when I was in Miami. Okay, so we are done with the acrylic. Again, the color Pinkalicious. This is my website, it's Get Nail 32. Yeah, I feel like, Sabrina, I feel like my uh, mind definitely has improved a lot. But I think to, like, I don't know. I feel like it It definitely had, like, I feel like it got better because of a number of things, for sure. I feel like, but, like, whenever I was struggling with it, like, girl, when I tell you, like, I've literally tried everything that you can think of, like, from... Wow like anxiety oils anxiety um gummies what else gummies oils 
teas, like literally anything that said that would help with anxiety, like I tried it. Like mine was so horrible that I was willing to do anything to help, you know, relieve that anxious feeling in my chest. And um, I definitely have come a long way for sure. I've, I haven't had like an anxiety attack in a long time and I think a lot of it has to do with just being in a better like mental space um and just being in a you know healthy relationship and just being like I guess you know okay with yourself and with life and everything I feel like that's kind of what helped me Okay, so after, um, okay, so this is what the nails look like after the acrylic application. So now I'm going to go in and just reshape them. I'm using my 8080 hand file. So this little gold brush that you guys seen me use is just to clean my drill bits and so it's just basically like little gold i mean gold metal bristles i guess and so what you do is you turn your drill on and then you just hold this and you just kind of let your drill bit brush up against it and it just kind of cleans off the ridges in your um in your drill bit and I do have those on my website as well. Um, okay, so again, we're going to go in with the um, hand file. And I'm going to make them a little bit more, round, more rounded. I don't want them as pointy i feel like with them getting longer they start to look a little bit more pointy and i don't want them i think i want them more like an oval shape see the difference Hey, Sharon. I am doing well, girl. How are you doing? I'm just preparing for the big day this weekend. Trying to get some things out of the way before it gets too hectic. Yeah, so when I first started doing nails, I actually um, started practicing on my younger sister. And honestly, I feel like as a beginner, just being able to practice either on yourself or on somebody else instead of the practice hand definitely comes in handy because you're getting like real life practice. Because those uh, practice hands, y'all, a lot of them are honestly so hard to work with so if you can find somebody to practice on instead please go that route um what i used to do when i used to practice on my younger sister or on anybody and like you know we knew that the nails were going to be taken off right after i would do like two coats of gel top coat and then or before that i would do like cuticle oil on the nail and just kind of rub it in just a little bit and then do two coats of top coat which now they have the um they have the what is it called the peel off base coat or something like that where it's basically the same thing you apply it on and then you're uh, able to very easily just peel it off when you're done um but yeah if you if you don't have anybody to practice on just practice on either yourself or a practice hand Yeah, I've been trying to post as much as I can. I know today, honestly, I didn't film anything because I feel like once I'm like 
at it. Like once I'm doing something and I'm like into it, it's so hard for me to stop. So like this morning we went to our building, we cleaned up a bit. We kind of put some tables up um, where I want them to go. I am, I actually made my own floral decorations, which I am excited to show you guys because I'm actually so proud of them, y'all. Like they came out so good. They're actually on my kitchen table right now, but I I want to wait till the big day to show y'all. But they are so pretty. Because y'all, like I said, this year we're supposed to just go to the courthouse, but I want it to be a little bit extra and just have a whole little celebration. And so I actually looked into like the possibility of hiring somebody to decorate just you know to kind of see like get an idea of how much it would be for what i wanted which what i want is very simple again as i mentioned earlier i feel like i've become like a minimalist and so it's very simple and they told me 1400 y'all and i'm just like no ma'am like i can do that for way less and so i did take off this week so i would have you know time to kind of get everything together and just really take my time i don't want to be under pressure i don't want to be rushing so i've been kind of slowly working on things here and there so today i actually went ahead and finished all of my decorations and i'm just i'm really excited to see everything come together Y'all, when I'm doing my right hand, it's so hard for me to shape it. So I like to put my hand on the edge of the table and just kind of go in and file that way. Yeah, that's what creative madness. That's exactly what we're doing. Like again this year is something like super tiny literally just very close friends and family so for me it's literally just two friends and then for my fiance it's literally just one friend and then um of course our immediate family somebody said when i got married 18 years ago my hubby made our invitations and I and I had the hookup on everything else. Nowadays, everything is much so much more. Yes, everything is so expensive. Like whenever I was first looking at venues, like venues here in the city, literally were like there's one that's like eighteen thousand dollars, y'all. Like literally just for the venue. And I'm like, who is paying for this? Like that's a lot. Like for just the venue, like that's a lot. So. Thankfully, um, like I said, of course, we have our own building where we're going to be doing this one. But for next year, we did find a venue that's all inclusive. It's really nice. Um, I did post a short here on YouTube. I don't know if you guys seen it, but we went and toured the property and it was really pretty. We really liked it. We got a great deal. And so I'm super excited to start planning that one as well. I know I told the lady that we could start planning after I finish planning this ceremony. Now, so like when we went to the bridal show and they're like, When's, what's your day? I'm like, well, I actually have two. And they kind of look like, uh, what? Okay. So I finished shaping them. And so now we're going to go in with my uh, extra, not extra course, but this is my five in one drill bit. These are sold out at the moment. Um, so I'm just going in. It's at 8,000 RPMs. Just going around the cuticle area. Going from the right side all the way over to the left side. And just going back and forth. And of course, just following the rest of the nail to make sure that everything is nice and even. But focusing on that cuticle area to make sure that you get no lifting. Move this over. I know a lot of the time I get questions on like how to prevent lifting. And just a reminder that lifting can come from a number of things, whether 
Or like it could be that you're not prepping the nail correctly. Maybe you are using nail tips that are too big or too small. You uh, could be not using your primer and dehydrator. Those two are really important. Also, if you are not using the correct liquid to powder ratio, maybe your acrylic is too dry or too wet, that will cause lifting. And most importantly, if you um, are not following your acrylic really well during this part, especially around the cuticle area, you will get lifting because any water, any moisture, anything that gets trapped underneath the nail it's going to get underneath between the natural nail and the acrylic and it's going to cause the nail to lift. So make sure, again, that you get really close around that cuticle area. Somebody said, uh, who is this? Beauty Creations Fade said, hopefully I'm in, in, I'm in position to do my nails and toes for mine plus my husband's toes for honeymoon. Yes, I definitely need to do his toes for our honeymoon for sure. But y'all, he gets, uh, he talks about how I only do his toes when we go out of town, which is true. But y'all, we be busy. We talked about going to get our toes done somewhere, but y'all, I'd be so scared going to anybody else because I feel like the first thing every shop do is round your toes off after you tell them that you want them squared, and I hate rounded toes, and so I feel like I'd be so mad if I go and they mess up the shape of my toes. So I was like, I can take you and let them do your pedicure. <laughs> Okay, this is what this hand looks like. So now we're going to do the same thing on this one. And of course, for this hand, I do have to be a little bit more careful. But same thing, I just go around the cuticle area and then going and following the rest of the nail. And right now I'm using my e-file at 8,000 RPMs. 
but as always just use it at whatever speed you feel comfortable using it at if you need to slow it down or speed it up that is completely fine thank you so much uh divine chris divine is it divine chris Hey, Victoria, I know, right? It came so fast. And honestly, for this year, I don't know. I'm going to try to get my sister to film as much as she can. Um, I actually only hired a photographer. I don't know what I was thinking. And then the videographer that we usually use, I checked his schedule today. And I think he's booked up. But of course, for sure, next year for our big reception, we will have a whole photography and videography team. Thank you, Ayana. Yeah, I feel like I can feel my my energy draining. We've been up since early this morning, been nonstop. Like after I left my lash appointment, I went and ran some errands because I bought some, um, what are they called? Goblets, like basically some drinking glasses. And I ordered them online and it hadn't had an update since I ordered them. Like they hadn't been shipped or whatever. And so I ended up just going to the store to buy some more and I literally needed to buy 40 of them. So like I'm having to put 40 drinking glasses in my basket. They were like in the like they came um, like individually, I guess. And so I had to put 40 in my cart. And then the lady at the register, she's like, how many do you have? I'm like, 40. And she's like, I'll help you wrap them. And I'm like, it because they were so busy. I'm like, it's okay. I, you know, like, I'll do it. Like, I understand. And so she still ended up helping me and stuff. And then I get in the car and I check my email. And then I get an email time as some is shipped. But it's still, it's not going to be here in time. So I'm glad that I went ahead and bought some more and then I'll just have to send the other ones back. Um, and then after that, I went to Walmart to buy drinks and then I went to the liquor store to get some liquor, of course, and then came home, cleaned up a little bit. We went back to the store and then here I am doing my nails. But we we're we were supposed to get up at five in the morning, and then that alarm went off, and I was like, "Uh, yeah, no, no, sir." I took my butt right back to sleep. Okay. Beauty creations, girl, for sure. Like weddings are almost non-existent nowadays. At least I feel like. I don't know. I feel like, and people keep keep proving me right, but I feel like nowadays so many people take marriage as a joke. It's almost like they just want the ring, but they don't want everything else that comes with it. The minute one little disagreement happens, they're ready to, you know, give up on the whole marriage and the divorce rate is just ridiculous but i feel like i don't know 
I feel like not too many people have those tough conversations ahead of time before marriage. And so I feel like that's why a lot of these, you know, divorces happen so soon after marriage. Because, like I said, so one little thing happened and people are ready to, to run. So we actually um, met because at first, as I mentioned, at first we we're just supposed to go to the courthouse. But since we both are like, you know, on the journey to getting closer to God, we wanted to um, get married by our pastor, which our pastor actually was going to be out of town that week. And so we're going to have another pastor marry us. And I feel like this one will be more special anyways, because this pastor I've been knowing since I was like six years old and his wife as well. And so that she, well, he was really excited, you know, that I even asked for him to marry us. And so um, we went to dinner with him maybe two weeks ago. And basically he asked us some questions, some marriage questions to kind of see if we both were on the same page. And basically everything that he asked us were questions that, you know, or things that we had already discussed on our own as far as, you know, marriage. And like I said, just having those tough conversations and he even was like did y'all practice this but we our communication is very like we do really well with communicating and so I feel like that helps a lot you know with just having of course a better relationship I feel like communication with anything really is is key Keys, no, I haven't um, tried that. <laughs> Somebody said, exactly, not the tribulations. I'd be ready to throw my husband off the balcony like Carlos did. That girl. Oh, pff, you crazy. Thank you, Creative Madness. Yeah, we're, you know, just knowing to put God first over anything, you know, in our marriage. And that's what, you know, we're working on. And we know that if anything ever happened, instead of going to anybody with our problems, we know who to, you know, who to go to. De Victoria, I definitely know that I will have those days as well. I know that nothing is perfect. Y'all, this buffing is a whole arm workout. Like we did arms yesterday, so this hurts my arm. Okay, y'all, so because I am so tired, I think I am just going to do a top coat. So first I'm going to go and wash my hands and then I'll be right back.
Okay, yeah, I'm back. Thank you, Victoria. Definitely will keep that in mind. Okay, y'all, so I'm so tired and I still have not ate dinner. So I'm just going to do a top coat for tonight. And then if I decide that, you know, if I have a change of heart tomorrow, then I'll come back and do something more. But right now, like I'm starving. So I'm just going to do a top coat and then tomorrow we'll see how I feel. So I'm just doing my NC Geo top coat, which is the best top coat to me. Honestly, we were meal prepping for the last few weeks and then these last few weeks, we kind of fell off. So I think I'm gonna eat shrimp, maybe. I still have to make it, y'all. Or I'm going to see if my man had some leftovers. I think he had some sort of chicken and rice. And y'all, the other day we tried Indian food for the first time. Like we had a date. We did our date night and we went and got facials. And then we uh did dinner. And for dinner, we just wanted to do something different. And so uh, we ended up trying Indian food and it was actually really good. I had the, um, what was it called? The chicken tikka masala, I think it's called. Thank you, Victoria. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these under the light. Let me see. Nina said, my parents had a no divorce rule. Pretty much they were not allowed to use the word divorce in a, any, in a joking matter or regardless of anything. They taught us to handle everything with love and grace. I've heard of people doing that. I actually just heard that somewhere. Oh, yeah, I'm so tired. Like, my eyes are so red from how sleepy I am. I was contemplating on whether I wanted to go live or I wanted to just film. But I feel like if I filmed, there was no telling when this video is or was going to get posted. So got one hand down, now this one.
Is who pregnant? I look up at my comments. That's the first thing I see. Are you pregnant? We actually plan, the plan is to wait to have a kid maybe like two or three years from now. Not right now, Sh uh, Shania, not right now, girl. I am so tired. I am so ready to go eat dinner, take a shower, and lay it down because we got another early day tomorrow. Like I said, I was just trying to do something than what other than what i had because i have that award um ceremony tomorrow and so if i decide to add or change anything before saturday i most definitely will but for tonight this is it a top coat just cleaning up a little bit okay putting that in the light Oof. The color is cute though. It's giving very just now. I like how I rounded them off some so it's more of like an almond shape. So it's still cute. Thank you so much, Keith. I really appreciate it. I feel like y'all can definitely see and feel how calm I am. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this, y'all. I guess because I'm tired, but I really have calmed down a lot from four years ago. I feel like before I was more, I don't know. I feel like before I was so angry, which I feel like I didn't just show it. But I feel like even now, like so many people like message me or like just comment on my post like, you so much, you know, I can tell you're so much happier now. And it's almost like, dang, like, did it really show that I wasn't happy before? You know, even though I tried not to let it show. But a lot of people do say that they, you know, they can tell a huge difference. Okay. So oh, let's cure for a little bit longer. My thumb still felt like it was a little bit wet. Okay. So now we're just going to top it off with some cuticle oil. Just apply a little bit. Massage it in. Same thing over here. <laughs> Somebody just emailed me and say happy fourth birthday to your dog. Yesterday was Honey's birthday. I got a whole email about it. Uh, Keith, I don't have a date yet on when it will restock, but I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. I'll order some ASAP. Alrighty, y'all. So this is what the nails look like just with the acrylic. Again, if I decide that this is too simple and I want to do something more, then I'll go in and add it maybe tomorrow or sometime before Saturday. But as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in and chatting with me while i do my nails as always again thank you guys for all of the love all of the support all of the encouragement all of the great 
comments congr how do you say congratulatory comments i really appreciate every single comment um so i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night and i am gonna go run and get me some to eat before i pass out y'all so good night